Hi, this is Kaylee, and, th and this is going to be a quick video about a horizontal projectile lab. So here's my setup. I've got a Hot Wheels track, and I've got a photo gate timer set up on pulse. So when one is activated, it starts. Let me try this again. Activate one, it starts the timer. Activate the other, it stops the timer. So it will time how long it takes for this ball to go through there. So if we know the distance between the photo gates and the time between the photo gate, we can get the velocity between the photo gate. So on this, we're going to pick a spot to roll the ball down. It's going to go through those photo gates, and then it's going to go to the floor. And the way we're going to measure the range is I have some carbon paper here that when we put this down, Whenever that ball hits, it's going to leave a mark. So then we can measure from the vertical distance from when it left the table across the floor into where it hits. So I'm first going to roll it down and see where it lands in general before I put the, uh, the carbon paper down. Because I'm not really sure where it's going to land. I want to pick a spot right here. And then... Roll it down. We get a time. Okay. I will release it and then it will go through the photo gate and then fall to the floor. First, I'm going to measure the distance in between my two photo gates. And so, if I keep them fairly parallel, the distance between the photo gates is about... The distance between the photo gates is about seven centimeters. So, seven centimeters. Reset that, and then I'm just going to double check where it's going to land at. So let me follow one more time. Okay. I've marked that. Let's go down here and see where it's going to land. So I've got this set up. It's going to come off there and fall to the floor. Now my height... My drop height is right at one meter from the floor. So the height of our cliff is about one meter. I want to set this down so that you can hopefully see the paper. And then I've got the time reset, so I want to drop from about the same height. And hopefully that hit the paper. So now, when I pull back the paper, I should see where the ball hit. And so now, I can measure Across the floor from the location that it fell off from, so it landed about there. So I can mark that and measure it across the floor. And there it lands. Let me move this over some. about 83 point, let's say seven centimeters across the floor. So its range is 83.7 centimeters. And the time to the photo gate is 0 0.037 seconds. So it took 0 0.037 seconds to go between here. 
So we can use that distance and that time to figure out the velocity. It fell from about one meter from the floor. So we can use that height to figure out the time of flight. Then using that velocity and the time of flight, we should be able to figure out the range, which we measure to be, again, around 80, around 83.7 centimeters. And we can calculate the predicted range and see how well they match. All right, so here is the data. So distance between the photo gate, time through the photo gate, distance above the floor, our experimental range, what we measured, which was 83.7 centimeters. Then calculate the horizontal velocity from the distance to the photo gate and the time to the photo gate. Then figure out the time and error from the height it falls from, which it fell from about one meter. Then use the horizontal velocity and the time to figure out the range, the calculated range. Then determine the percent error as well as any errors that might be in this lab, which there's a few that you can mark. All right. Thank you for watching this lab. And tune in again for more physics. Bye.